Hey, yeah, how's it going? Yes, I'm alive. Yes, I'm gonna still keep running. Yes, the channel's still gonna be going. Sorry, I haven't posted in a while. Things have been stressful, and we've kind of entered a new chapter of my life, or at least for this summer. Okay, as you guys probably know, if you watched the last video, uh, I finished up my freshman year at BYU. Awesome experience, loved it. Um, so now it's summertime, and I got a job as a pest control salesman going door to door in Columbus, Ohio. So that's where I am right, right now. And it's been, it's been interesting. What you're gonna see from the next couple videos and things I'll be talking about, it's been hard. <laughs> it's pushing me definitely to, close to a breaking point, um, but I'm learning a lot of lessons out here. So one thing I started doing each day is I recorded a little mini video of a lesson I learned that day. Because out here, I was just noticing similarities between summer sales, running, doing sports, and like life lessons. And so I was like, why not make a series about that and try to motivate you know other people in my same shoes? Because right now, like I'm looking online for like videos on support for guys or girls who are doing summer sales for their first time their rookie year and are absolutely just getting slammed and walking 25 to 30,000 steps a day, knocking 200, 300 doors and not getting any sales. And I was just looking for videos like that and there aren't none. There's, there's none out there. There's a few Instagram reels, you know, give you a little motivation, train harder. Um, practice more, do role plays, um, but not the exact videos I was looking for. And so I'm trying to create those videos, hopefully motivate you guys. Because the one thing you probably realized, I give lots of motivational advice, especially about running. Some of it's stuff I just need to hear and I don't quite fully believe myself, or not believe, I don't fully apply it to myself is what I mean. So I'm gonna be coming out with a bunch of those videos. Yes, I'm gonna be running, and I know a lot of people are here subscribed for the running content. I took my two week break a little bit early due to the my Achilles hurting, and I dropped out, or didn't end up racing in the Robinson invite at BYU. That extended to three weeks, and then to four weeks, um, because we work, basically, last week I put in 68 hours and we don't clock in or things like that because it's not paid hourly. It's just a commission only job, but <laughs> 68 hours of work, that's insane. That includes transportation, meetings, knocking for nine to 10 hours a day. Um, it's a lot, it was a big toll on the body and we'd get back yet, we'd knock until 9 p.m. By the time we round everybody up in the cars, get back to the apartment, it'd be about 9.45, 10 o'clock at night, eat some dinner, get to bed 11 at the very earliest, but you know, we'd role play, we'd practice different pitches, door approaches, and then our meeting um, is at 9.30, and I'd wake up, I'd try to set my alarm for like six or seven to get up and go on a run or go to the gym or something, and I'd just be zonked out, exhausted. So, finally, we're hopefully getting into things. I've gone on two runs this week. Um, mostly it was just on Monday because I got to sleep in and fully rejuvenate Sunday. And then Thursday, I just felt like getting up at seven. So that was good. But this is, this is gonna be a crazy summer. You know, I wasn't expecting to do this. You know, I heard about summer sales from other people. You know, I heard people can do pretty well, but I never, I never thought I'd be doing it, you know. Um, annoying solicitors come to our door all the time and I don't think we ever bought anything from them, uh, but we're, we're nice to them, you know? I'm, I'm glad when people are nice to me, like you're gonna notice in the next couple of videos sometimes people don't like solicitors and I totally understand. I, I will get off your property if you do not want to talk to me. I will leave, just don't even come to the door, you know, we can avoid that conflict. But I'm gonna be out here for 11 weeks uh, we'll see how often I post one of those videos. Uh, it'll probably be every couple days or maybe one a week. We'll see how things go. It's gonna be interesting. It's already been very hard. The first first couple days were very rough and I knew it was gonna be hard, but not quite what I expected. But thank you so much for tuning in and we're just gonna go straight into the first, the first life lesson that I'm learning, uh, building momentum. So thanks for sticking around. Go ahead and comment down below if you're doing summer sales, where you're doing it, what you're selling door to door, and any tips you have, especially if you're a vet. A lot of us rookies out here, um, at least me, I'm struggling and I'd love to hear some tips. 
from you guys, okay? So thanks so much. Once again, I'm Nathan Richardson. I hope this next little clip gives you some motivation for the summer. I think what I'm realizing is that nothing good in life or that's worth it or success or anything like that comes easily. Like, <laughs> everything, you have to work for it if, if you really want it. Because I've only been here, what, this is my third week and I will say the last two weeks were very hard. Like, cried myself to sleep more times than I'm willing to share. Um, but we're getting through it. You know, it feels like it's a freight train moving. You know, it takes so much effort, so much work just to get it moving. But you know Newton's law. Once an object's in motion, it will stay in motion and continue in motion. And I think, hopefully, we're in motion now. It took a lot of work, a lot of force to get us going, but I think we're moving forward. And hopefully success isn't too far around the corner. I think what I'm learning in this chapter of my life right now is one, how to work hard, which I know I know how to do from running and training, dedication. The one thing that running teaches you is patience. You trained for so hard, for so long, months, years, for sometimes one race or one goal, and your whole life revolves around this one goal, this one dream, and it's hard to keep going. It's hard to have that motivation when you're not seeing results but what is what this is teaching me what i'm coming to know is you just keep going don't you quit don't you give up what's that gonna do all that does is prove everyone right that you couldn't do it that you weren't good enough prove to yourself that you can do it it doesn't matter what other people think set that goal and go achieve it and if you're going through a tough time where you're not seeing results just know if you just keep going and you don't quit, there's, there's bound to be a beautiful sunrise on the other side of that dark night.